Oscar winner, Mr. Jack Nicholson. Thank you for that. Um, I'm saying nothing because you've all exhausted every expression you have. <laughs> so it's a great honor and a pleasure for me to present to you the five elegant and talented women who were nominated for the best achievement by an actress this evening. They are Kate Blanchett and Elizabeth. But remember this, in your hands, Upon this moment lies the future happiness of my people and the peace of this realm. Fernanda Montenegro in Central Station. Oh, aí eu, eu não tenho fome, não é? Eu não tenho fome, só você. Não tem comida, não tem mais dinheiro, não tem mais comida. Acabou. Se é isso que você quer saber, acabou. O que, que a gente vai fazer agora? Sei lá. Gwyneth Paltrow in Shakespeare in Love. So if that is all, Brennett, I go. Then I'll go with you. You cannot. Wessex will kill you. I know how to fight. Stage fighting. Oh, well. As Thomas Kent, my heart belongs to you, but as Viola. The river divides us, and I must marry Wessex a week from Saturday. Meryl Streep in One True Thing. Oh, oh I don't want to live like this. <laughs> I can't just be over, baby. Please help me. Will you help me? Please, please, please. Emily Watson in Hillary and Jackie. It's just a cello. Well, it's silly, really. I, I just don't want to be a cellist, after all. Well, I never asked to be a cellist, you see. It's all just a big cock-up. One day I was just playing, and then the next day I was booked up for the next two years. I hate the cello, if you want to know. And the Oscar goes to... Gwyneth Paltrow. Shakespeare and Love. Gwyneth Paltrow has appeared in nearly 20 films including Emma and Sliding Doors. This is her first Academy Award. Oh, I would like to thank the Academy from the bottom of my heart. Um, I would like to thank Emily Watson and Fernanda Montenegro and my friend Kate Blanchett and the greatest one who ever was, Meryl Streep. I, I don't feel very deserving of this in your presence, but I would like to thank Harvey Weinstein and everybody at Miramax Films for their undying support of me. I would like to, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be in this auditorium, let alone up here, if it wasn't for two incredibly talented men, our director, John Madden, Thank you so much for all that you gave me. You were so inspiring. And, and to my soulful partner, Joseph Fines, who I share this with. I wouldn't be here without him. Um, I would like to thank the rest of our miraculous cast and crew, our producers, Donna Gelati and David Parfit. I didn't forget you this time. And um, especially Jim McGill um, and Sophie Shand and my friend Ben Affleck. And um, I would like to thank my wonderful agent, Rick Kurtzman, who is a beautiful man and a wonderful agent, and in his case, that is not an oxymoron. And I would like to thank Harold Brown, Stuart Gelwarg, and Stephen Uvane. 
um, I would not have been able to play this role had I not understood love of a tremendous magnitude. And for that, I thank my family, my mother, Blythe Tanner, who I <laughs> love more than anything, and my, my brother, Jake Paltrow, who is just the dearest person in the whole world, my earthly guardian angel, Mary Wigmore, um, and especially to my father, Bruce Paltrow, who has surmounted insurmountable obstacles this year. I love you more than anything in the world. And to my grandpa, Buster, who almost made it here tonight, but couldn't quite get here. <laughs> uh, grandpa, I want, I want you to know that you've created a beautiful family who loves you and loves each other more than anything. And we thank you for that. Uh, I would like to dedicate this to two young men who lost their lives very early. Harrison Kravis and my cousin Keith Paltrow. We miss you very much and I thank you. Thank you so much, everybody.